Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise first one to Standing Order 53-1 to seek a statement from the Standing Committee of National Security, Defense, and Foreign Relations on the upsurge of a popular trend known as Aluta in Nairobi City and its environs, involving the sale of alcohol and other substances beyond the recommended hours. In the statement, the committee should, one, outline plans, if any, by the government to address the concerning rise in uncontrolled alcohol consumption, clubbing, and partying among the youth, particularly in Nairobi and other urban areas. Number two, provide comprehensive statis statistics on licensed nightclubs, bars, wines and spirits establishments in Nairobi County, indicating whether they pose any risks to nearby communities. Number three, state measures put in place by the government to ensure strict adherence to, le to the legally prescribed hours for the sale of alcoholic drinks as outlined in the fourth schedule of the Alcoholic Drinks and Control Act of 2010. Number four, spell out plans by the government, if any, to ban and control the escalating Aluta activities that pose a significant threat to the lives of young individuals at risk of substance abuse, including alcohol. And finally, Mr. Speaker, outline the government's initiatives to address the growing number of wines and spirits outlets within the residential estates in Nairobi City County, clarifying whether there are any legislative gaps that may be addressed to regulate and better manage the abuse of alcohol and other substances. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Boni. You can only rise on a point of order when another senator is on their, on their feet. Senator Boni, where I sit, at the time you're standing on a point of order, Senator Karen had actually completed making her request for that statement. Yes. Mr. Speaker, indulge me under standing order number one. The debate in this House is not just for our consumption, Mr. Speaker. It's also meant for the public. And uh, Mr. Speaker, majority of the members here are good speakers of the English language. She's speaking of something called aluta. And in the English language, I do not know what it means. Mr. Speaker, understanding order number 105, I request that you allow her to tell us what aluta means, because we want to follow her. We, uh, we need to know. Very well, uh, Senator Boni, Senator Karen, kindly uh, explain what a looter is. Proceed. Mr. Speaker, the trend I'm talking about involves the consumption of alcohol or partying and clubbing um, on a continuous mode, non-stop, from Friday evening, for instance, you choose to remain in the club until Sunday, I mean, until Monday morning, whereby young, young, um, young Kenyans and the youth uh, at the age bracket of, say, 20, 19 years to, say, even 40 years are exposed in a party mood on, on an autopilot where it is... It is, it is um, non-stop, they don't go home, they don't take a shower, and there are existing laws, Mr. Speaker, that regulate the, the time that alcohol should be sold according to the Alcohol Bill of 2010. Mr. Speaker, in developed world, where we... In the developed world, in the West, where we copy a lot of things, and they're, they're, let's face it, they're ahead of us in many ways. Clubs are closed at 2 a.m. No partying goes on 
in the United States of America, for example, past 2 a.m. Here in Kenya, the youth who are supposed to be participating in economic activities, the people who the future of our country rely, relies on are busy partying, thinking of nothing beyond tomorrow than having a good time the next weekend. Mr. Speaker, if we continue like this, we are going to lose a whole generation. I have a personal experience where in the, the University of Nairobi, I met a very good friend who was in Alliance High School, Mr. Speaker. A Order. very, a very bright, beautiful uh, friend of mine who was schooling with me at the University of Nairobi Law School. And Mr. Speaker, we were exposed to a, an environment where the, our parents are not in campus, so you had to make your choice whether you want to drink and party nonstop. And Mr. Speaker, as we speak, we lost my friend some years back because for me, Mr. Speaker, I had a doting father who kept checking on me my every step. So, and Senator, Senator Karen, uh, just have your seat. Mr. Speaker, if, I'm, if, just trying to tell, I'm just trying to demonstrate you're, 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 the effects Sen of... S Senator, of, Ka Senator of, Karen, just, just take your seat, please. Order, order, honorable senators. If I got you correctly, Senator Karen, aluta means non-stop partying. Is, is, can that sum up the very long uh, statement you're giving us? Aluta means... Is it a concept? Mr. Speaker, if you put it that way, if you say it's non-stop partying, someone might assume that this person is partying, use um, normal partying hours, like they are partying till 6 a.m., going home and partying tomorrow. Order, <laughs> Senator Kenyo. Do you partake of these parties? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, there are notorious clubs, nightclubs, about seven of them in Nairobi. We can, I will take you round, Mr. Speaker, if you want, on Sunday morning. <laughs> Order. Order, wonderful senators. On, Order. On, on Sunday morning, Order, Mr. Speaker. Order, honorable senators. Can the senator Mr. Speaker, on Sunday morning, as others senator, are going to church. Senator Karen, you can only take me around churches. <laughs> Conclude. But, Mr. Speaker, as other people are going to church on Sunday morning, you will see another different type of church. And at some point, when they are very drunk, they will sing into, they will break into gospel song and the DJ will lead them into a service and mock, and a mock service. And Mr. Speaker, when you see the videos that are coming from these parties, it is very sad because the age group, I would not be very concerned if it was Senator Mazayo involved in that. The age group is very worrying because these children, first of all, they don't Order, have- Order, honorable senators. They don't have a source of income. They don't have, they, are so, they live with their parents, so they don't have a, a source of income. So my worry is, and the case study that we should also carry, where is this money for non-stop partying coming from? They could, it could be funded by the popular wababas, taking advantage of our girls. Mr. Speaker, this trend- Senator Karen, I think we've uh, understood what you meant. <laughs> let's, let's leave it at that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator. Senator Hezena. Senator Hezena, proceed to make your statement. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.